Hi guys, so not a coaching video, um, just thought I'd let you know straight away so you can click out of this video if you're not interested in hearing about this. So um, I have a cost update for you on basically our fertility journey um, and uh, what we've paid so far. Um, just to give some people an idea if they are also trying to do this kind of thing in the UK. So just a kind of overview, me and my wife are trying for a baby. Um, we're doing this through a fertility clinic and we are hoping to do shared motherhood, otherwise known as um, reciprocal IVF. Um, so basically what that means is that uh, one of us will produce an egg. Um, that egg will then be fertilized by a generous donator um, and then um, we will be uh, putting that egg, that embryo, in the other mother, so the opposite mother. The one who didn't provide the egg. No, the, yeah, the one who didn't provide the egg. So that's what we're hoping to do, that's what we're ho preferably hoping that we can do. Um, the kind of way we're going to be doing this is uh, it'll be Rosanna's egg in me, so I'll be the one carrying the baby. Um, but, you know, who knows what's going to happen at this current time. We don't know if we're going to actually be able to do that. So this is what we've both done so far. So um, I was the first one to have the AMH blood test done. Um, that was £85. Um, and also I had a transvaginal ultrasound to just have a look at my ovaries, to look at my womb lining. Um, and that was at a cost of £195. Rosanna now has had those things as well, so that was an extra £85 and another £195. And the total cost so far has been £560. So this is just all for the tests and all for the scans. Um, we don't, we have yet to like hear more concrete results. Like they told us certain things why we were there, especially about our ultrasound thing that happened. Um, uh, my, I, apparently there was nothing wrong with mine, um, but there was a couple of issues with Rosanna's. The, the lining was getting, um, it was thickening, her uterus lining was thickening quite quickly. Um, and also, um, there could be a, a possibility that she has, um, less eggs each month for whatever reason. But personally, we have been going through a bit of a stressful time, so I think... It's not something that is a problem with her. Like, I do think she can produce more eggs. I don't think she has a low egg reserve. Um, um, I think she's just... Because we've been going through a lot of stress recently, her more specifically, um, I feel like um, that's the reason why she's not producing as many eggs. That's personally how I see it. But, of course, we won't know for sure until we hear from our doctor's appointment, which will be at the beginning of September. So there'll be another update then in September... However, um, I won't be able to do another update until then. So I'll be giving an update somewhere between um, probably mid-September, perhaps maybe the, the first two weeks of September, probably. If you'd like to know things more quicker, then uh, Rosanna has a TikTok. Um, there will be like a link for it down below. Um, there's also a link for it down in the, the first video's um, uh the comments you'll be able to find it there so we do post more information about that more regularly and more quicker on the tiktok so you can go and check that out if you would like to um so yeah the total so far has been 560 pounds and that's just from checking us over um, and that's usually the first things that you have to do when you start uh, going to fertility clinics apparently by the looks of things you usually get the blood test done and to see what's going on down there the transvaginal ultrasound so that is basically all the information i have for you right now um, and obviously the cost update as well um, we have paid for the doctor's appointment but i'll put that on a different paying video i just wanted to kind of make a concrete thing on like these first initial things that you have to kind of look at um, so I'll give another cost update about the, the doctor's appointment as well. Now, we know what we know about the doctor's appointment that we've got is we, it's going to be over the phone. Um, and also it's going to be roughly probably about half an hour to an hour. So that's basically what we know so far. 
Um, and again, that's going to be at the beginning of September. So that'll be the next time you hear about this kind of thing. Because at the moment, we're kind of waiting. It's kind of like just the tail end of August now. Um, so we are waiting for basically all of uh, basically August to finish so we can start figuring out what we can do. Now, what I do know about the doctor's appointment is I think that appointment is going to be about making a plan about what to do next now that we have all this information about what our bloods are like and what our scans were like uh, well, obviously we don't have um our what we, we don't know anything about what came with our bloods yet but i assume the doctor is going to tell us about that when we have that appointment so that's basically all i have to say i hope you um like the uh update i hope you found it informative especially if you're trying to do this yourself obviously me and my wife are in a, a same-sex couple relationship so obviously it probably be a lot different in um obviously like a, 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 a heterosexual couple relationship um because obviously there will be only one transvaginal scan probably one obviously blood test as well um so again like the, the blood the blood test was 85 pounds and the ultrasound was 195 pounds but obviously we had to double that because obviously we are two women having a baby so that'll give you some kind of idea some kind of clue um if you if you want any more information if you are curious um, please leave down in the comments anything that you would uh, you want to know um about either like the blood test or the scan um anything like that if you have any worries about it especially if you are just kind of like a little bit before what we are doing and you're a bit concerned about the scan or the blood test um or anything else so please let me know and i'll be able to give you some information but um luckily um they were both very quick experiences it's not something that's dragged out it does happen pretty quickly you don't have to worry too much about it it's not something that's going to last hours and hours and hours obviously the thing that you might have to do is wait in the waiting room that's pretty much the only thing that I kind of had to deal with to begin with I was in the waiting room for quite some time not like a lot of time not like a like in the UK we have like um the NHS so there can be a bit of waiting time when you go down to the the GP surgery and to just talk to a doctor about you know any kind of like ailment that you have but because we're obviously we're somewhere private obviously the waiting times in the waiting room are not as much um also as well um rosanna didn't have to wait very long for her she seemed to be in and out quite quickly within like 20 minutes so that can kind of give you an idea like if you're not waiting in the waiting room it can be as quick as like 20 minutes to half an hour um so um yeah that's that's why i have so far um thank you so much for watching and i shall talk to you again very soon again another update will be coming um probably within the first two weeks of september but if you want more instant news then please go and check out the tiktok which will be provided um in the comment section and in the description box of this video thank you so much for watching and i shall talk to you again very soon i also apologize to anyone who comes from my coaching videos um obviously this wasn't a coaching video <laughs> um so um but that doesn't mean that i still don't make coaching videos for this channel just so you're aware it's still a coaching channel i'm just having a little bit of a journey right now on this channel with um this kind of baby journey kind of thing and i thought it'd be really informative and interesting for other people to know who may be going through um infertility problems or they're in a same-sex couple so thank you so much for watching and i shall talk to you again very soon goodbye guys